All right, I feel like drafting. Let's do a draft. Let's do Amon Ket. And it's taking a way longer time for the queue to fill up. I guess people are slowing down on this. Some people have... There's a dude with 50 trophies. That's insane. More props to him. I'm going to try something different this draft. Um, if it's not totally... Um, taken i might try to go like hyper aggro um and just take things that cost one or two <laughs> um play like 14 15 lands let's see we'll see if it's open not gonna force something but like if i get some bomb rare that i want to play like glory bringer or something then i'm gonna play it but we'll see we'll see what we get past all right, so after the longest wait we've had in a long time, it's finally here. Um, bunch of good black cards here. I like Grimstrider. Neheb is strong. It's not a bad first pick. Um, I think Binding Mummy is probably better. Like, we could end up going into black white zombos. Um, or even white blue, technically, or white red. Even, you know, anything is good with this. White is just the strongest color. There's an Inno catcher's name, too. Those who serve could maybe wheel, thresher, lizard. This is a strong pack, actually. Um, I'm going to take the mummy. Okay. Um,. I think Unwavering Initiate is better than even Mind Sensor and Red Crop Spearmaster. There's also a Cartouche. There's an Onward to Victory, which I really think, um, which I really like. Um, but that's too, I don't necessarily want to jump into a second color when there's a solid on color card to pick here. So I'm going to take the Initiate. a quick glance to see if I <laughs> that's funny to see if I recognize any of these people no alright hmm well only one white card here which is a bit worrying um Blighted Bat is okay, but not something I'd really like to pick this early. Wander and Death is pretty good in the right situation. Um, I'd like to be red-white if possible because uh, maybe we'll wheel that red-white card. And so these two are probably the best. Minotaur I found to be pretty good, but I want to keep my casting cost down. So I'm going to take the trick here. Okay. Um, see, I'm fighting all my urges. Like, normally I would take this here. But I'm just going to try really hard to keep the costs low. Keep the curve super, super low. And we'll see if it works. Want to just run some people over? Wow. Okay. I guess white is open. That's really late. Compulsory rest. Also a fan bearer in that pack, but compulsory rest is better. Um, there's a cursed minotaur, which is not bad in black. So black white could be open, but let's. We don't. We're definitely white, but we don't know what our second color is yet. I kind of took this as a speculative pick to see if we get past that um, red white double sided card. Well, you know, aftermath, aftermath card. That's what it's called. Right? Come on, people. 
why are we always so much faster than everybody? Because we don't think about our picks? Or because we read quick? I don't know. Just read and commit, and that's it. Jump in. I'm a committer. I got married young, you know? <laughs> um, I think I want this red cartouche. Um, yeah. Not much else to say here. That's just the card I want. Uh, this is not bad, but... More what we're looking for. Another root strength. So far, so good. Keeping it hyper aggro. We just have to get as many one and two drop creatures as we can. We're, sh we're a little short on creatures right now. Duders, Duderinos, cats and zombizzles. All right, um, Bloodlust Insider, get in the van. Spear Master, nice. That was that sweet first pack. Or second pack, whatever. One of those packs was sweet. Um, it's a two drop, I guess. Rather not play it if I don't have to, but. Really would love to hit the white um, monument. Open no catcher pack too, that'd be that'd be sweet. <laughs> or the red white uncommon to drop. Um I think one of these is fine in a hyper aggro deck. It's such a funny picture. He's like, oh look how sad he is, and my brother is betraying me. He's so sad. Sad puppy. Alright, we might play this, we might not. I've been impressed with it, but... Mighty leap. Mighty leap. Leap into my deck, please. Ooh, awesome. Value. Ooh. Wow. That's nice. Um, Crasher is too strong. Dustwalker is great too. Jesus. Compulsory Rust. Gustwalker. I want all of those. Can I just take this pack? <laughs> um, sadly, we are going to have to pass this foil dual land. But... <sighs> Pulsary Rust is good. Crasher is really, really good. Gus Walker is good too. I'm going to take this. That was tough. That was a tough call. If I had gone red black with that other dude in pack one, then this would get a buff. Was tough. It'd be great to get a magma spray. Hmm. Hmm. I like the elite. I like the thresher. I like the pathmaker. Yeah, we don't have enough two drops, but. This isn't my favorite two drop. I think I like. I think 
think this is probably just the best card. There we go. Oh, nice. Rewarded. Rewarded. So it's not bad, but I want more things down at the uh, sacred cat end of the curve. Okay, another mummy. Perfect. I will play mono binding mummies if I get past them. Nice. Like in this deck so far, I don't want to have to play this. So let's put it in the side for now. Um, do I want a priest or a cat? I think I'll go cat. My twos are pretty strong. I mean, this is the worst of them, and it's not even horrible. You know, the big butt on it means it'll survive. Like, if I brute strength it, it becomes like a 5-5. Five five. That's pretty good. Um, sideboard card, nothing else decent there, wow, that wield, that's crazy, um, I don't really want to play mediocre four drops, so, ooh, okay, we'll take the lizard here, sweet, I'm surprised. I mean, that was a crazy strong pack, too, but... Usually people can't resist the siren song of a foiled dual land. Um... I guess... So we'll try to upgrade those if possible. But. Hmm. Yeah, no, we don't want this because we have this that we want to cast on turn two. Hello. Yeah, this, this seems very good. Curve topping rare. Perfect. That's always what I want, pack three, a curve topping rare. And the possibility of making a zombie manticore, that's just delicious. It's just a kitty. It's like, look, I brought this for you. I love you. I'm a kitty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, 
I like a lot of these cards, but this looks like the Stone Cold Nuts in this deck. Crop mate, nice. Yeah, I think I'm going to take that over a bunch of good white cards here, but I think that card is strong. Um, don't have any cycle or anything to make this good. For some reason, I always think this has... Like, imagine it was just one 1-2 one, Menace Prowess. That would be insane. Um... Don't really want any of these cards. I mean, I guess. I guess I could take one of these, but I don't intend on playing it if possible. Okay. I'm ready. Add land, submit. I'm ready. Spearmaster is good. I don't necessarily want another three. Fan bearer. That's fantastic. Fantastic. Let's only play two lizards. Blazing volley for the sideboard. Yeah, I got two four drops, so I think 15 lands. I don't know. If I get another decent one drop, maybe I'll play 14. I don't know. Slither Blade. Slither Blade is broken. Too bad we couldn't have taken that Gust Walker and we didn't see any other ones the whole time. That's really what makes the deck work. But. I think, um, either way, I think I'm going to have fun. I'm either going to run people over or they're going to stabilize and kill me. So, you know, those are the two choices. Um, don't care about any of these cards. I like full art lands. Do I want to play this sheltered thicket? Maybe. Maybe I do. Just as like a uh, come into play tap cycling mountain. What is that card called? There is one of those. I'll look it up later. I don't want to miss the last three picks or whatever. However many are left. Five. Ah, alright, cool. Let's kick one of these Kenras out for the priest. Sure. 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 
Okay, add basic lands, seven, six, okay. That would be eight, seven, white. Yeah, I guess that's fine. All right, cool. Save. All right, see you in the matches.